Creation Baptist family. I am Deacon Philip Crawford, and I will be reading Matthew 11, 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burdens is light. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader's ears, carrying out of his most holy word. church family and welcome to New Creation Baptist Church where our mission is to save the unsaved by sharing God's love. I have your announcements for Sunday December 13th 2020. Our church theme, God's favor of plenty in 2020. December is the white teens month. Team members please step up and help with everything that needs to be done. Cleaning and especially the food shelf ministry. As the need for food is ever growing, we ask that everyone who is willing and able to come out and serve. Thank you. Bible study is on Tuesday nights at 6.45 p.m. via teleconference call. Join us as we gather to learn about discipleship. And NCBC's food shelf will be temporarily closed on December 19th, December 26th, and January 2nd through the 9th. The day has arrived. NCBC has a new app. This is a great opportunity for us to stay in the loop with NCBC events, notifications, sermons, and more. To get connected, just text the code NEWCREATION to 888-364-4483 or go directly to your favorite app store and find us there. Let's get connected, NCBC. Did you know that many people with high blood pressure don't know they have it? Did you know that African Americans are at a higher risk for this disease than other groups? When left untreated, high blood pressure can cause a heart attack, stroke, kidney problems, blindness, and even death. 
This week's faith program education module is related to high blood pressure, but whether you're in the faith program or not, knowing your blood pressure numbers, taking prescribed medications along with a diet, and at least 30 minutes of physical activity most days of the week are effective ways to lower your blood pressure. One of the most important things you can do for your health is to have your blood pressure checked regularly. Be inspired to take action today. COVID won't stop our tradition. NCBC's fourth annual Christmas sweater contest continues. Don't be shy. Go ahead and snap a photo of yourself in your sweater and email it to newcreation1414 at gmail.com by December 17th. The winner will be announced December 27th during our online Christmas service. November Memory Verse Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 6-7 December Birthdays Terry Evans I Justin Haynes I Dominique Ellis VI Deacon Harry Edmund XX Candace Westbrook the 23rd, and Sharonda Washington, the 29th. Happiest birthday. And please continue to keep our loved ones on our prayer request list in your thoughts and prayers. For God says, confess all your faults to one another and pray for one another that they may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. And to our visitors, we do hope that God in some way will affect your heart today and make your life even more complete. We thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to fellowship with us. You are welcome today and always. May God continue to bless you and keep you. And if you are a visitor and if after service you would like to make New Creation your church home, please contact us at newcreation1414 at gmail.com or call the church phone line at 612-825-6933. This concludes our announcements for today. Please stay safe and healthy and have a blessed week. Until next time. Are you looking for hope? If you are, then you clearly haven't found it. Chances are you are looking in the wrong place. Hope is not found in money, good deeds, popularity, a diet, the government, family, or even in a companion. All of those things will let you down. There is one hope guaranteed to last. It's found in a person. Jesus Christ. The only one to claim. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Stop looking for ways to find hope. Hope stepped down and found you.
Yes, Jesus cares so much about us that he is willing to do whatever we need him to do for us. And I stop by to tell you that Jesus is a burden bearer and a heavy load sharer. Now notice the word casting. Casting means to throw upon. It, it, it was a word that carries the idea of trusting someone to handle whatever you throw at them. And it's a blessing, isn't it? To know that we can trust God to handle everything we throw his way. If you have money problems, throw it to God. If you have a marriage problem, cast it to God. If you have health problems, cast it to God. If you have a relationship issue, cast it to God. And he will catch you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, church. You can give all your cares upon the Lord. Now, as we look at the text, it says cast, casting all. But well, all means everything, right? Don't just throw one or two problems. Ain't that somebody? Don't just throw a couple of problems. Don't just throw the easy problems. Don't just throw the hardest problems. But throw all your problems on God. Because he's asking you to cast them on him. Amen. We must stop trying to handle and hold on to things ourselves, my brothers and sisters. That's when we get in trouble because he already told us what we can do. Yeah. We have to let go and let God handle our problems. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let God handle your concerns. Yeah. Let God handle your worries and your anxieties. Let God handle your fears and your challenges. And let God handle your failures and your disappointments. Amen. Why? <laughs> because he cares for you. Now notice, also, the word for he cares for you. The Greek word is hate auto mila para huma. It means to him it matters concerning you or for you are his concern. Woo, isn't it good to know that he, each one of us, we got a problem. He cares about each and every one of us, not just some of us, but all of us. Amen. And it means that you have to let go and let God have it because he concerned about you. Yeah. He loves you. He cares for you. He's interested in what you do, who you are, and where you go. In other words, we matter a whole lot to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, the songwriter wrote, he said, what a friend we have in Jesus. Yeah. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Then he wrote on and he said, have we trials and temptations? Yeah. Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Yeah. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And here's my favorite verse. He said, are we weak and heavy laden? Yeah. Covered with the Lord of load of care. Precious Savior, Still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do your friends despise forsake you? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms you will take and shield you, you will find a solace there. And I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, Jesus, Jesus is a burden bearer and a heavy load shed. Amen. And my brothers and sisters out there in Facebook land, in YouTube land, listen to me. Jesus is a burden bearer and a heavy load sharer. Whatever you're going through right now, I don't know what it is, but God knows. He cares about you. He wants you to give it to him right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Secondly, I want to ask, uh, the question that is being asked is how much does Jesus care about us? First, does he care about us, but how much does he care about us? Yeah. Well, I'd like to share with you how much Jesus, how much he does care about us by using the acronym CARES. The C is for comfort. Yeah. The Bible tells me in 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4, Blessed be the God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comfort us in all tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Yeah. The A is for aid. He is an aid, isn't he? Psalms 46.1 says, 
God is a refuge yeah. and a strength, a present help in our times of trouble. Oh. Then R is an acronym and it's for restore and rest. Matthew 11, 28 says, come on to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. But then there's E, and E is for eternally. Yeah. Jeremiah 31 and 3 says, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Amen. And last but not least is S, which is for supply. Yeah. Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply <laughs> all your needs yeah. according to his riches and the glory by Christ Jesus. And you know, and because Jesus is able to comfort us when we are troubled, because Jesus is able to aid us when we need help, yeah. because Jesus is able to restore our weary soul and give us rest, because Jesus eternally loves us, and because he's able to supply our every need, yeah. I know that I know that I know that Jesus is a burden bearer yeah. and a heavy load sharer. All you got to do a virtual Holy Ghost high five and say Jesus is yeah. a burden bearer yeah. and a heavy load sharer. And as I get ready to close, caring and blessing people is nothing new to God. Yeah. He's been doing it from eternity past. He cared enough about us when he decided to bless and create us. Am I right about it? He cared about us when he chose us from humanity to be his chosen people, to be the ones who would praise him and give him glory. Yeah. He cared enough about Adam and Eve that after they sinned against him, that he took care of them. He cared enough about Noah and his family that when he destroyed the world by water, he created an ark to protect them and brought them into dry land. He cared enough about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, David, Solomon, Daniel, and the three Hebrew boys and many others. He cared enough to carry them through the trials in their lives. Now, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, and Jesus, yeah. he cared about Peter, James, and John Come on. as they struggled to understand his teachings on his mission, his message, his death, and his resurrection. Yeah. He cared enough for Paul, the apostle, who took the message of salvation by grace through faith to the world. Jesus has carried the burdens for millions of Christians who live and die over the centuries because of their faith. Yeah. And guess what? He cares enough about you yeah. and you and you and me and me. That he cares enough. That he carried our burden then and he carries our burdens today. Yeah. He says, cast your burdens upon me because I care for you. Yeah. And you know he'll never leave you. Huh? Yeah. And he'll never forsake you. Yeah. He is a bridge of a truck. Why does he He'll always take care of us. And I know sometimes, and I'm talking to you out there, out there virtually, and I know sometimes it may seem that no one cares about you yeah. and what you're going through. Yeah. But Jesus does care about you. He has not forgotten about you. Yeah. He loves you enough that he hung, bled, and died. Hallelujah. That your sins was forgiven and that you will have life and have For all of us that he died on that cross, on that old rugged cross. He was buried and in a grave, a Bible grave at that time, for three days. But the Bible tells me that on the third day, early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hands. And so since he got up, we can get up off our bird bed as he
he got it. He can take all our cares and he can turn things around. Yeah. Yes, Jesus cares so much for us. And so when we're burdened yeah. and our prayers are pitiful, huh? when we're burdened and our praise is pathetic, yeah. when we're burdened and our worship becomes weary, Come on. when our giving is grudgingly yeah. Yeah. and our commitment is cold, yeah. when we're burdened and our attitude is angry, our tongue is transgressing, our heart is helpless, our dedication is divided. When we're burning and our love is lukewarm, when our temptation is toiling, when our faith is failing, when our mind is miserable, when we are burning and our lack is lost, our smile is stolen, and our desire is defiant, give it to the Lord. Because Jesus is a burning prayer and a heavy load shift. And right now in 2020, saints are down and need comfort. Help us, Lord. Yeah. Hurt and need healing. Somebody out there, you're suffering and you need support. You're injured and you need encouragement. Yeah. You're crushed and you need consoling. You're rejected and you need reassurance. You're damaged and you need deliverance. You're ruined and you need relief. Persecuted and need power. You're attacked and you need answers. But we can rest assured. We can cast our troubles, all our cares, upon the Lord. Amen. Because He cares for you. Yes, Jesus, He is a burning bear and a heavy load chair. God bless you. We love you. And if you need prayer, Please contact our church at New Creation 1440 at gmail.com or go to our website, New Creation Baptist Church, MN.org. We want to hear from you. We love you. We want to let you know your situation is only temporary. No matter how big your problem is, our God is bigger than all problems. Amen. So just reach out to us in touch. And remember, he is a burden bearer and a heavy load share. I'm Pastor Dan B. McKissie. I love you. If uh, this message has inspired you, and maybe you're sitting at home and, and you need to be recommitted to God or reconnected, or maybe you never have become saved, you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we're going to take time out right now that you have an opportunity to come to Christ. Please repeat this prayer to me. Father, I have sinned and fallen short of your glory. Because in your word you said all have sinned and fallen short. And Father, I, I'm at the point, point where I'm at the end of my rope. I, I've done many things and I've tried many things and I still feel the emptiness inside of me. And Father, I'm burdened and I'm worried and I'm troubled and all the things that are going on in the world right now have me depressed. But Father, I'm coming and I'm casting all my cares and concerns on you and I'm confessing my sins because I know you're faithful and just to forgive me of all my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Father, we all are as filthy rags and we need a Savior. And Father, right now, if you just come into my heart, you come into my life and make me new again because Father, I need you. I need your mercy. I need your grace. I need your forgiveness. I need your love and kindness. So, oh Lord, hear my feeble prayer right now as I accept you as Lord and Savior. I am moving aside and letting you take over the steering wheel of my life because you are my Savior. In Jesus' most precious holy name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Please tune in again next week. We have another word for you, a relevant word. But you have a blessed week in the Lord. And may the Lord God bless you. Real good. Thank you.